Welcome to the Smoke and Mirrors nail blog. Today we're going to continue looking at the Morgan Taylor Designer Plates Nail Art Stamping Kit Flirty Florals Collection 1. If you watched my unboxing video then you know that this kit comes with pretty much everything you need to start stamping. It comes with your stamper, your scraper card, and two plates. These plates have some really pretty florals on them. Um, today I'm going to just test out a couple of them and to do that in addition to these items I have my nails prepared with Jellish the last petal from the Beauty and the Beast collection I also have some assorted stamping polish and off to the side I have pure acetone and some cotton balls for cleaning up. I'm also working on an acetone resistant surface. If you don't have a surface like this, then you should definitely put down newspaper or a towel or something like that to protect your surface. I definitely recommend using pure acetone if it's available. It makes cleanup much easier when stamping. I have not done anything with this stamper yet. Um, just gonna pop it open. Sometimes with these stampers you need to rough up the surface of the silicone but for this trial I'm going to just see if it works without doing that. Here I'm cleaning the stamp pad just to make sure it's ready to go. I've selected my stamping plate 3720201-2. I've got these leaves that are in the corner and I'm going to I think I'll stamp those on my thumb because you can see the images are quite large. My thumbnail is pretty long. I mean you can see my nails are maybe a quarter to a half an inch long typically. Um, for the white part, so that should cover the full nail. Let's give it a try. there's the image. That is really crisp. Um, <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> really surprised at how well that did on the first go round. It's like I said, sometimes you need to sort of buff these silicone stampers to get them to pick up the image very crisply, but that picked it up and you can see what was left over was simply the part that my nail didn't touch. So that did a great job. Let's try another image. You can see it cleans up real well. Whoops. Okay, let's try a different color this time. And we'll try one of the more complex images. Um, some of them are more, they have more swirlies and more die cutting going on on the plate than others do. So let's try one of those. This time I'll put it on a different finger and I'm using some white polish. See how that acts. That's pretty good. Um, you can definitely see the little roses and it missed one right here. It's not that it didn't stay or that it um, didn't go onto the nail from the stamper, it's just that apparently the stamper didn't pick it up quite right. Now that's a little disappointing. 
I would probably take that off and redo it. The great thing about using Gelish for your stamping is if, if you've got that as the base layer that you're stamping on top of, you will not have any difficulty with just wiping it off. Um, you can even quickly wipe off with acetone without, as long as you have the uh, Gelish top coat on, it's called Gelish Top It Off. You can simply wipe off your stamp design that you didn't like, which I just did. You can see I just took it off and it did not mess up my, my polish underneath. So let's try one more time. I'm going to try a different design this time with a different color of polish. I'm going to try a silver. And we'll use the other plate, which is 3720201-1. And I really like for some reason I'm drawn to these leaves in the corner. Let's see how this does with some metallic polish. Oh, that's really good. That's really, really good. And again, I haven't done anything to the stamper. This is straight out of the box. You can see I even got it a little crooked but I was able to get coverage on all of my nail. You can see my nail is not short. It's a, a long nail, a lot of coverage needed and these images are large enough that they can accomplish that. So far I'm really liking these plates. Um, if you're looking for them, I believe you can buy them at the Cosmoprof store at least. That's where I got mine. And please, if you have tried them out, make some comments below and let me know what you think of them.